Everybody's here in Central Arkansas. We're going to do another grow. <laughs> this time it's mung bean. And um, they sent me this seed by accident. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to get that. I was supposed to get turnip, but instead I got this and another mix. So they, they messed up the order. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow this entire thing. And it's supposed to be a pound. And uh, this is the size, a little smaller than speckled pea. I probably would have done at least two pounds if I had the seed. So, yeah, it's a it is a pound. You take away the weight; it's probably a shade less than a pound actually. Uh, Four hundred eighty-one grams. So we're going to just grow that whole thing, and um, I'm going to put it in the sprouting jar here. It's basically just a mason jar, and soak it for twelve hours. So that's the whole bag, and it looks like it may swell up past that. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. And um, yeah, it's um, two pounds might have been too much to grow, actually, just noticing the way it kind of sits in the jar compared to peas. All right, we have got the uh, mung beans here soaked. They actually expanded a lot more than I expected. Uh, so yeah, that's a full pound. Let's see what happens. That is a lot of seed, let me tell you. Uh, we're not growing the leaf out. We're growing for uh, some non-leafier shoots, more or less, at least for the majority of the grow. That's intense, so we'll see how they do this densely planted. I mean, <laughs> that's more than I probably should have, but we're going for it anyway. All right, we're going to hit it with the basic antifungal here. Look at those mung beans. I'm going to spray it down thoroughly and um, <laughs> it's way too thick. You can see by the dome on either side of this mung bean that it has reached the top. Basically, it's just going to start pushing up. And I've tasted it. I don't want it to green up any. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this. And whew, it's an incredible mess. We'll see what we get out of it. This is a crazy amount of mung beans. I didn't expect it to grow this aggressively. That's what it looks like in there. It's clean. Very, very clean. Long shoots. Some of them have been lifted like that. Um, so, yeah, the harvesting of this is going to be fun. I brought it out in a tray there and I'm going to lay it in the tray as I go. Alright, I got some scissors. I'm going to take the roots off as I go put them in the tray that way so we're gonna feed the roots to the worms so uh, yeah this is gonna take me a little bit I think because uh, I'm gonna pull the smaller seed out and the roots uh, are not gonna be in it and so I'm gonna speed this up for you and then I'll bring you back I'm going to slow you down for just a bit. I wanted to show you how I'm getting the uh, seeds and pieces off. So I take a stack here and I cut generous portions of the root and stem off. I'm going to turn it upside down and shake it like that. And that clears the stems pretty good. Then I grab the stems on the other side and shake it. And that clears the top part off. Seems to work pretty good. All right, now I'll speed you back up. All right, I'm back. I want to show you what everything looks like. This is the overall take. I'm going to get a weight on it. But I wanted to see, wanted you to see the overall waste. It's, I've got probably 
about as much in the so-called waste that's going to go to the worms uh, as I do in the finished product. And I didn't even feel like doing the rest of these shorter ones. I'm just going to uh, uh, grind them up in, uh, in a blender and give them to the worms. And of course, me shaking them out, it's all over the deck, so i got to sweep all that up and then rinse it off. So, yeah, let's take this inside and see what kind of weight we got on it. I've tasted one, but I'm going to taste one on camera with you. Just so you can get um, real-time information from my taste test. Mm. If you've ever eaten a raw green bean, or just a raw bean in general, that's what it tastes like. There's a tad, tad bit of bitterness to it. Mm. There's no antifungal, what I call now my super antifungal, put on any of this. So it's not from uh, the transfer of the antifungal. It's the natural taste of mung bean. So I'm going to try to do a little dish with it and we'll give that a go. Let's get the scale ready. Put an empty tray on. It's even a little bit wet, so we'll get that. Zero it out. That tells you in ounces that the tray weighs 15.5 ounces. And I'll attempt to put this, oh gosh, it's heavy, on there. And, let me see if I can get you to see it. It looks like 68.4. There we go. You can see it in the camera now. Ounces. That is, let's see. Let me get it on grams. That's pounds. That's 4.27 pounds. Grams is, is it grams? Yeah, grams is 1930. Now oh, you can see it 1939 grams, 68.4 ounces, 4.27 pounds. That's a big harvest right there, considering all the waste. I'm going to put half in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to take the other half, a whole pot full here, and uh, make a dish out of it. And this next part is just for people who would consider mung beans for fodder. And fodder is an animal source of food that can be grown cheaply. Uh, and these mung beans sure seem to fit that bill. So we're going to weigh these as well just to get a total uh, for someone who might be considering feeding this to chickens, pigs, or cows, or something like that. So I did not include a portion on the deck there because it touched deck treated wood and I wanted to um, use this fodder, if you will, for worms. <laughs> All right, let's turn this on, zero it out again. Tray out of the way. Looks like 433 grams. Throw it out. Let's get a weight on this. Uh, 1471. Can you see that? Let me push it back a little bit. 1471 grams. That's to 51.9 ounces so yeah that's uh, I can't remember what the other weight was but that's a lot when it's added together I'm gonna bring 12 pot uh, 12 cups of water to a boil and then I'm going to add this chicken bouillon powder to it to make a broth out of it. It's going to be the regular mixing for 12 cups. We don't have any fresh onions, so I'm adding a half cup of minced onion. Gotta have 
the onion. <laughs> I'm going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic. This is garlic that we buy in the store. It comes in, um, I'm not sure if it's water or vinegar. I'm going to add uh, four tablespoons of soy sauce and two tablespoons of oyster sauce. I almost forgot, going to add uh, three tablespoons of sushi vinegar. We've taken it off a simmer and I'm just going to add the uh, mung beans in there and we're going to let the heat over a period of time while it's off uh, make them soft. I don't want to cook them down too far. It's still pretty warm. And I've dipped me out a little bowl. And I want to do a little taste test here on the camera. They look at them, they're they're like noodles. They're they bendy and all that. They're just like noodles. It's pretty cool. Mmm, they're crunchy. not tough or fibrous at all they're like a crunchy noodle and the soup taste is really good too it's got a great flavor I've made this soup before with different types of noodles and I thought it would be good with these and it is it's really good mm. there is no bitterness in these at all that is a wonderful, wonderful soup. These French guys will see you later.